सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर ऑल्सो गेटिंग एनी इशूज वाइल लॉन्चिंग जुपिटर नोटबुक थ्रू एनोकोंडा और इशूज लाइक दिस सो दिस विल बी योर लास्ट वीडियो इन विच दिस प्रॉब्लम विल बी कम्प्लीटली रिमूव इफ यू आर यूजिंग एनी लैपटॉप आई विल बी गिविंग यू फोर मेथड्स टू सोल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस मेथड्स विल वर्क इन एवरी लैपटॉप सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर आई विल से ओनली वन थिंग टू यू डोंट स्कीप एनी पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो बिकॉज इफ यू विल स्कीप द वीडियो एंड द प्रॉब्लम डजेंट सोल्व इट्स completely on you so i will suggest don't skip any part of the video so to solve this issue the first and very basic method is that firstly you need to go to the setting icon of the jupiter and remove all applications from here right as you can see it will take some time and while removing this also make sure you are connected with the internet connection now after removing this go to the setting icon of jupiter notebook again and simply click on install application so after installing it again simply click on the launch option now after doing this if the jupyter notebook is still not opening and showing like this you need to uninstall the anaconda and then reinstall it so before doing this i would suggest if you have already done these steps i would recommend you to go directly to the step free but if you haven't gone through these steps i would recommend you to watch all the steps and follow it strictly now in a step 2 you are required to open your command prompt to open the command prompt go to the search bar and simply enter here cmd and press enter now as you can see if you have opened the command prompt it will look like this now here the first thing you have to do simply enter jupiter notebook as i am entering so after entering jupiter notebook if the jupiter notebook is not opening and showing this type of uh, any problem you need to enter pip command to reinstall the jupiter notebook you have to enter the same thing in your laptop and press enter so after pressing enter your jupiter note will be installing if you have already installed or your system already have the jupiter notebook it will show like this now after installing jupiter notebook from your command prompt now again enter jupiter notebook in your command prompt press enter so after doing this second step if the problem is still there and jupiter notebook is not installing or opening you are required to follow the third step now before starting the third step i would recommend you to watch this step with the extra focus because in this method most of you will solve the problem and also this method is the most recommended method now for this you have to open your anaconda app again and click on the launch option of jupiter notebook it will take some time to show this error again now here in this error box you are required to copy this whole text from here and press okay now minimize this window and now go to your notepad of your computer now paste that error code which we have copied from anaconda now here you will see couple of permission errors like this as you can see here and here right so we are going to solve this permission error which is not enabling jupyter notebook to open now in the permission error you can see there is a file location right so we are required to open this file through our file explorer this file location might be different for different users but the steps which i am going to tell you will be same for the every user now to solve this permission error we are required to open our file explorer as you open your file explorer you can see here there is a view option right now simply click on the down arrow of your view option and here you will find hidden items if you are not finding hidden items here click on the show more and you will see here hidden items and make sure this hidden items is checked marked okay if this is not checked marked like this you are required to check mark it again right after doing this all the hidden items of your file will be visible now after doing this we are required to go to this file as you can see here this is c users del you might be seeing 
different file location so follow the same steps to go to and open that so follow the step which i am telling go to your file explorer app and go to this pc in this pc you might be seeing a c drive right so i'm opening the c drive we have opened our c drive and we need to go to users then dell then jupyter dot jupyter then jupyter server configuration right we need to open all these location to solve this permission error we are going back to our file explorer app and then we will go to users users then dell then dot jupyter then jupyter server configuration as you can see we have reached to our final destination that is jupyter server configuration as you can see here there it is last file is jupyter server configuration right now after coming to the last file location of this simply right click on this and go to properties now in properties go to security option go to dell as you can see the permission is denied so you are required to allow this permission so to allow this go to edit option and then tell or you might be seeing uh, different options of a system so you are required to open your system name and after uh, opening your system name you are required to uncheck all the deny option So after unchecking all the deny option apply it simply press ok now after doing this you have solved your first permission error so after doing this you are required to solve the other permission error so to solve this go to your notepad again now here you can see in this permission error here it is written permission denied and its file location so we are required to go to the same file location so in my case file location is same as in the first case so if you are finding different file location you are required to do the same step as we have solved in the first permission error right so after solving this permission error cut down this notepad and open the anaconda again now try launching jupyter notebook again so now you can see my Jupyter Notebook has been successfully launched and it is working properly. So till now if you have followed all the steps which I have told you in this video, you might also be able to launch the Jupyter Notebook and it would be working properly. So after following all the steps, if you are still not able to launch the Jupyter Notebook, we will proceed to our next step that is step 4. So for the step 4, I have created a separate video and you can find the link of that video in the description section below so if this video was helpful please like share and subscribe thank you